Hello everyone, good afternoon. I am Furkan Tepin and I'm a PhD candidate in Economic Information and Management Department at Kellogg School of Management. And I study how economic regulations affect our lives. For instance, if and how economic regulations affect innovation. So actually, when we think about innovation, it's exciting, it's the new technology, and it affects our life. First of all, it's the key driver of economic growth, and it can ultimately cure diseases. And even as we saw in COVID vaccine development, it can prevent diseases. So it's important to understand the factors that affect innovation. But in these factors, we generally, generally don't think about accounting. And indeed, when people think about accounting, it's just boring. But I don't think it is, because it's the language of the business world, it's central in the business world, and it affects our lives. But actually, what it is, accounting. It's not just tax, so it's in general about financial transactions and how the economic entities like firms measure these financial transactions, record them, and how to summarize and present them. For instance, I think most of you have seen something like that, right? So Pfizer sales climb, or Eli Lilly revenues falls, or a group of firms announce earnings, the net profit. So these are all accounting numbers, but how do these firms come up with these accounting numbers? Can we compare them? Can we trust them? So we do need some accounting standards, right? Actually, because of this reason, there is a nonprofit organization called Financial Accounting Standards Board, FASB. They set the accounting rules for firms in the United States. And the government entities like the Securities Exchange Commission, the SEC, they recognize these accounting standards and oversees if public firms obey these rules. So I think now we can agree on accounting standards and accounting is central in the business world. But can it affect our life? For instance, can it, can it affect innovation or can it even cure diseases? So the Short answer to this question is yes, and I show it with a recent and major accounting standard change about revenue recognition. The standard is the new standard is called ASC 606, and the revenue recognition is can be sound like technical, but actually it's just when it provides guidance to firms when and how much do they recognize revenue? How do they record their revenues from financial transactions, and ultimately, how do they present them? How do they disclose, disclose them? And with the new standard, ASC 606, the basic impact for the firms is actually early recognition. They record their revenues earlier, but they have to disclose more about it. And I would like to give you an example about a company called XLX. It's a relatively small public company, a biotech company, and they focus on cancer treatment. So this company have basically two streams of revenue. The first one is direct sales, as the company has three approved drugs, the drugs and they are really difficult to pronounce it, so I don't even dare to try, but they have revenues from them. And the second stream is actually alliance revenue. And we know about alliances, again, from COVID vaccine development. So there, there is a Pfizer and BioNTech alliance, right? So with this alliance, BioNTech, which is a relatively small company like Exelixis, provides its technology to Pfizer, and in return, it receives money. So similarly, Exelixis, again, a relatively small company, provides its technology to these pharma giants for money. But these alliance revenues are complex. For instance, if you look into this Ipsen alliance, we can see that there are terms like upfront, upfront fees, milestones, and royalty tiers, all these technical terms as highlighted in the text. And Excelixis 
explains its revenues with one and a half page disclosure just from its hand. Actually, it's before ASC 606. But after ASC 606, the new standard, their disclosure doubled and they record their revenues earlier. But so what? So how does it impact our life? Now there is more information. First, to investors. Think of yourselves as investors. So you have the money, but I guess you wouldn't invest your money into a company you don't, well, you don't know well enough. But let's say I'm the manager of a biotech company and it's really risky and long process to innovate one single drug. It's on average 10 to 15 years and two and a half billion dollars. So if you don't provide money, I will not be able to invest enough in this R&D project, innovative project. So as you know more about my revenue stream, now I can access the financing easier because you will be able to invest in me. And I can invest more in R&D. And secondly, actually, there's more information to the peer. So firms know more about each other. As a result, they can form alliances easily. And actually, that's what happened to XLX. As I told you, XLX, before the standard change, provided its technology in return for money. But now, XLX invests in alliances, so they pay to access the technology. And they have more, much more patenting activities after ASC process. As a result, there are much more drug candidates from the company especially from the alliances. And hopefully, these drugs will turn out to be approved drugs and will save lives. So the answer to my question is yes. Accounting regulations can affect our lives. They can cure diseases. Thank you.